up youtube welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna show you guys how i got this super easy closure wig install using only got to be free spray so if you're interested just keep on watching So the first thing I'm going to be doing is putting this wig cap on and you want to make sure your edges are all the way slicked back so that your hair, do your hair doesn't get in the way. Then I'm going to be taking this 91% alcohol and I'm just going to be rubbing this along my hairline. Not on my hair but just like on my forehead. Next I'm going to be taking this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color Coconut. And I'm just going to be rubbing this all on the wig cap um, just so that it matches my skin tone and it blends better. So next I'm going to be taking my 4x4 closure wig that I actually made myself. Um, let me know if y'all want a video on how I make my wigs. But I bleached the knots on this wig and I plucked the um, the hairline. Real cute. So I'm going to be taking that foundation, that same foundation and putting it on the lace so it can match my skin. And y'all this hair is really good. I got this hair from IC hair. So now I'm just putting it on just to like make sure it's fitting right and putting it where I want it to go um by the way I did dye this hair like a blue black color Revlon has this, this natural blue black color and honestly it just it just looks black to me like <laughs> it kind of looks blue in the sunlight but it just basically looks black but it's real cute because I like black hair so now I'm taking my got to be freeze spray and I'm just going to be spraying this a little at a time on my edges. Not on my edges, but on my skin, on my forehead. I try not to get this on my hair because I don't think this stuff is good for your hair. It got a lot of alcohol in it. And I'm just taking my finger and I'm just spreading it out. And I'm using something to fan it. You can use a blow dryer. I just feel like a blow dryer. It makes it dry way too quick. And then I just stick it in place. It's a little creaky. From the angle I was looking at, it ain't look this creaky, but now that I'm watching it on video, it's a little creaky, but. <laughs> so then I'm taking this, I just found anything I could see, and I'm taking this toothbrush, and I'm laying the edges down just to make sure it's laid, it's melted, it's down, it's on the skin. And I am using something to just fan it. <laughs> So now I'm just combing the hair out. These are some old pin curls I did on the hair about a week ago. And I just love this wavy curly look. I just think it's so cute and effortless. I love it. So to do my baby hairs, I'm just going to be taking this olive oil fix it super hold spray. And I got this method from Eric and Tay because I just love the way his baby hairs be looking. And I'm just going to be spraying it on this edge brush and just doing my baby hairs. You can just do your baby hairs however you want to. This is how I like to do mine. So for my middle baby hairs, I'm going to be using this Motions Body Lotion um, Mousse just because mousse creates more softer baby hairs and I like for these baby hairs to be really soft and wispy. Um, I don't mind my side baby hairs to be, you know, a little bit molded, but these baby hairs, I like them to be really soft. So I use mousse instead of the olive oil fix it spray. Then I'm just tying this down with a scarf so that everything can stick and be just laid effortless. This is the key to having your closure frontal whatever 
just melted and on point. I'm using the comb part of the edge brush just to brush out those middle edges because like I said, I like those to be a little softer. So I'm just combing it out a little bit just to soften it up and make it not so, I guess, molded. So this is the finished look. Isn't it so cute? I just love this hairstyle on me. I think this hairstyle looks good on anybody and it only took me a few minutes to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for my next videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next one.